Alright everybody and welcome in today's Mario Maker Monday and usually that means viewer levels guys usually that's what it means but today we have a special edition of Mario Maker Monday uh, we have a little bit of a race going on starting at 7 o'clock um, the new R&B Encore by Justin Sells has been posted and released and we will start that at 7 o'clock so we're going to do a quick warm up um, of Insondable given, uh, given to us last week by Gracia that is Eduardo we're going to start off warming up with this and at 7 o'clock we're going to start we're going to switch over and do R&B Encore just so you all know what's going on um I think a couple of people have already started playing it, but that's all right. It's not going to be beaten that quickly. <laughs> we'll start off by welcoming everyone in. How was your Monday, folks? Let's welcome in Stephanie Wright. First off in here. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And the first light. What's going on, Steph? How are we doing today, darling? Those are Game Boy games, baby. Game Boy? Yeah. I'm a Game Boy. We got Damika coming in, dropping the like and the share. Thank you so much for the like and the share, Damika. How are you doing today? And John Hollinger, J and J Game Stream, coming in and dropping the third like. Welcome in, John. How are you, sir? <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's get it. Uh, let me refresh my live producer. I was running a little bit late trying to find out if we were starting the race immediately or not. Uh, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, that's when we're going to start the race. Looks like James Stewart coming in, dropping the like as well. Welcome in, sir. Thank you so much for that like. How are you doing today? Uh, Mario? Yep. Mario, let's go. Let's get it. I'm doing good, Demika. I'm doing good. Cannot complain. It was very cold this morning, and so I'm trying to just uh, adjust to the weather. I'm trying to adjust to the weather. <laughs> but otherwise, not too bad. We're going to start off just warming up with Insondable. Insondable equals Fathomless by Gracia. And then once it hits 7 o'clock, guys, we'll be moving on to R&B Encore. That's when the official race starts. Like I said, I know a couple of people have already set foot in it and started playing it, but that's okay. Uh, they can get a little bit of an advantage. We're going to have players starting hours and hours late anyway. Most of us will be going around the same time, though. It will be a race to the first clear. I'm only going to race for my normal amount of time. Uh, I'm not doing a long stream to try and get the first clear. I'm simply playing it uh, for added exposure to the level. And, um, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm at work on my way down to Ohio, almost to Fort Wayne. Nice, nice, sir. Right, let's get rid of that guy. Let's hit that. Same here. To be honest, a little hard to adjust. Yes, it is. Excuse me. <laughs> I, it was negative nine here in Canada. Yikes. Negative nine. It got down. Let's see. Um, 27 Fahrenheit when I woke up this morning, so that would be negative 5 or 6. Uh, negative 5, negative 5. So it was negative 5 when I woke up this morning. According to the Celsius scale. Alright, this part here is a bit of a pain. All right, let's get past all this. If I can get past all this, I'm good to go. Nope. Video is frozen. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for letting me know that. Ed coming in, dropping that like. Welcome in, Ed. Thank you for the like. Uh, yep, my video is frozen. Let me fix that. I am playing. Mirror box, deactivate or reactivate. There we go. All right. Thank you for letting me know that, sir. My capture card has... Uh, been acting a bit funny today on me. I changed my HDMI port and changed from the Xbox to the Switch and it shut down my computer on me. Uh, errored out my computer and so... That's probably why it did that. Probably why it did that. Well, that's a rip. 
Eduardo, hey yo, you changed your name. Got gotcha. you. Well, welcome in, Eduardo. We're starting out with your level, sir. We're going to start out with your level tonight since you sent it in right at the end of last week's stream. But I'm only going to play it uh, for 30 minutes as a warm up, and then we will be moving on to RB Encore. It is released. People have already started playing it, but the official race does not start until 7 p.m. So 30 minutes, that's when the official race starts. And that's when I will be starting it. Alright, let's see if we can get past this. Nope. 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 So that is the level creator right there, guys. He's in the chat. Hanging out. While we play through this level a little bit. Grab the vine toad, you can do it. All right. Wow. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Eduardo. I'll, I'll definitely give it my best. Uh, like I said, I don't intend on playing it all the way until there's a clear. I'm only gonna play for my normal time slot that's allotted. But I'm gonna play it and do my best to get as far as I can uh, during that time. Have a little bit of fun along the way, maybe. Uh, learn a few tricks about R&B. May help me in the future. Well, this is going to be a big ripperoni. Okay, well, we made it. Come here, Yoshi. Yep. You only get one shot. Did not miss him. Oh, well, that's it. That's a GG. I just failed. Just failed on that one. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. We played this once before, if it looks familiar. We got um, to the third room, I believe it was. I believe we got to the third room. Okay, we're doing okay. Now we gotta wait on these to be their absolute smallest, which is right there. Then take that hit. Now we can get the Yoshi. Now we can bring the Yoshi up here. We wait on Boom Boom. Do just like that. We should be good. And we can take that hit there. Take that hit there. Actually, we're gonna wait for Boom Boom to take him out over here. Don't trust the Boom Boom. Never trust the boom boom, guys. It's alright. Come on, give me that Yoshi. There we go. Okay, we're out of there. Moving on to room number two. This is where we want to use our star. This is the star room right here. Didn't get the Roy in time. And not gonna get him still. Oh, we got him. Okay, we did get the Roy in time that time. Now we have trouble. Now we have real trouble on our hands here. Oh, we got through. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good, folks. Alright, we're doing good. Gonna get rid of Boom Boom because I don't trust a Boom Boom. Never trust a Boom Boom. All right. In the pipe. All right, so we already made it to the third room. We've already made it here again. I don't remember what to do here. Minus a uh, run slide. Oh, wow. So if we bring the Yoshi, then we fail. We can't bring Yoshi. We can't bring Yoshi, folks. We cannot bring Yoshi. I did not know that. Apparently, Yoshi automatically kills the uh, dry bone shell that we need. Apparently, Yoshi automatically kills the dry bone shell that we need. So when we get to that point, we need to ditch the Yoshi. Gotta ditch the Yoshi, folks. 
That's a bit of uh, knowledge that we did not have before, so we should be in a little bit better of a spot to clear this, knowing that. Right, there we go. Let's go. All right, we got a yeet in the chat. Give me a moment. Whew. All right, give me a moment, folks. Give me a moment. There we go. Perfect. Alright. We'll stop right there. We'll drop this exclamation yeet from Eduardo. Thank you for the good run. Let's go. Exclamation yeet. That means we're going to get out our Yoshi. And we'll give him a good old yeet. And there we go. We got Renzen coming in. Dropping the light. Welcome in. Thank you for the like. Uh, let's see what I missed. John said, got over to Michigan City and the office sent me to do a random breathalyzer test and got a perfect score, triple zero. Let's go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So 15 more minutes, 15 more minutes ish, and we will switch over to R&B Encore. All right, so we need to be quick here. That way we get this guy one shot, get through the door. There we go. Perfect. And then boom, bada boom, bada bing. Didn't mean to do that. All right, get our Yoshi back. Just get this guy out the way. And in the pipe. Okay, we're back here. So we actually need to get rid of Yoshi, apparently. Apparently we do not want Yoshi. That's what we learned last time. Because we got to get this dry bone shell. Can't bring Yoshi with the dry bone shell there. Alright, can't bring that through. Let's go. Well, that hurt. That hurt. Alright, take the hit. Get me out of there. It's fine. In the door. This is progress. Farthest that I, farthest that I have ever made it. All right. Checkpoint. Let's grab that. Beautiful. Okay. We got a checkpoint, folks. Hold it, my sister's chameleon. Nice. Welcome in, babe. Thank you so much for the like, Lauren. Wonder how are you doing today, love? Hi, Puddin. Miss me. Well, hello, beautiful. And you are beautiful. Uh, you missed it last night. Had to go from zero to pro on Cape Skills. Nice, sir. Yeah, I was already in bed. I got the notification that you went live, but I was already in bed. <laughs> I was asleep. Oof. Okay. Okay. We're learning here, though, guys. We got a checkpoint, so we have a real, real shot here. GG's for the checkpoint. Hey, much love. Much love, Eduardo. Checkpoint one, anyway. Checkpoint one. We've got an actual shot here to do something. Alright, so that, I think I just want to full jump. I think I just want to full jump that. Yep, full jump there. And then right here, I am waiting. I gotta find a way across and back for a... Oh man, okay, so I gotta find my way back. And across all of this. To get... Okay, I see what I'm doing. Dakota was confused when you uh, played my sound. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that would be Lauren's sound. That would be Lauren's sound whenever she comes in. All of my regular viewers have a sound button if they have sent me something. Okay, so there it is up there. I got to get up there and get that button mashed. Got to get up there and get that button mashed. All of my regular viewers have a sound that I play for them when they come into the stream. That is a tough little jump there. I have to grab the vine. I'm going to need to grab the vine in order to make it. 
Do not think I can make that jump straight across. Oh, okay. So I can one cycle that though. I can absolutely one cycle that. That's good to know. And at least I have made progress to the checkpoint, so I know how to get to the checkpoint now. That's a good thing. Alright. So just jump there. Nope, don't want to jump there yet. I've got to wait to time this. I've got to wait to time this perfectly. Right here on this one. Oh my goodness. That is so tough. I've got to wait for the ghosts to time it perfectly to get inside the circle there. Wowza. Okay. Okay, well, we didn't one cycle. No one cycle. That's alright. Don't have to one cycle it. Thank you for the progress. Much, much love. Uh, we got double O Badger coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in, Badger. How you doing today, brother? Thank you for the like. Much, much love. Gonna be playing RB Encore momentarily, folks. That would have been a bad cycle. Now I have to wait here for another good cycle. It should be right here. No, the ice block. Oh, man, that's gonna be tough. Hey there. Hi there, he says. What's up, brother? What's up? How was your birthday, sir? How did it go? Sorry, I didn't get to hang out for very long. We were out and about doing some Christmas shopping. But how did your birthday stream go, my friend? How was your birthday on Sunday? Uh, do you feel any older? Did you eat some cake or some pie or some ice cream or something? Let me know. Oh, made a mistake. Mistakes were made, folks. Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, about 10 minutes left and we move on to R&B Encore, guys. 10 minutes and we're moving on to R&B Encore, regardless of where we are in this level. We've already made great progress on this level. Oh, no. Don't do that. Already made great progress on this level, getting a checkpoint. Okay, so this is the tough part because I've got to time this and get up to that vine. Bad cycle. It's got to be the next cycle. Come on. No, it was so close. <laughs> uh, it was great, man. Thanks. I played Freebird on Beat Saber for a while. Nice. Still can't beat it. Well, I mean, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. But I'm glad they finally added Freebird on uh, Beat Saber. Now every time I come in there, I can literally say Freebird. <laughs> Oof! Should have just went. Got to go. Got to go. Got to go. All right. All right. Come on. Gotta stop making those mistakes. I've got to get all the way over there to that vine. Hit that on/off switch. And then I can make actual progress. I thought of you when they added it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know hardly any of the other songs on there. So I would always tell Badger. He's like, what do y'all want me to play? And I'm like, free bird. <laughs> Just to mess around. I've never played Beat Saber. So I had no idea what was on there. All right. Let's wait for the right cycle. Right here. This is going to be it. All right, stay over here. Let's wait for the next cycle. This is going to be a bad one. It's going to be a good one here. All right. Oh, I fell. No, that was it. That was it. That was a good cycle. That was a good cy cycle. Looks like Professor just went live to do the R&B race as well. We'll be doing some R&B racing here in just a few moments. Thank you for that progress. Much love, much love. That's alright. We're just waiting right here. We can be patient. Bad jump. 
bad jump. <laughs> and thank you for the progress, Eduardo. We're getting there. Little by little, we're figuring it out. Which means when we actually get to play this level for an unimpeded amount of time, we should be pretty much set and good to go. We should be ready to take it on. Woo-wee! Almost into the spikes. Alright, not this cycle. Is it this cycle or the next one? This one's good. Oh, I fell again! I fell again. Oh man, that's rough. I grabbed the vine, but I fell twice. Alright, about what, seven more minutes. Seven more minutes. And we're going to begin R&B Encore. Alright. So this cycle right here should work. Then we sit here, wait for two cycles around. That cycle would have worked. This cycle will not work. This cycle right here should work. No, it's not. That would have been a bad one. This one right here. Yep. Oh, I hit the spike. I hit the spike. So much waiting. I'm not a fan of waiting. I'm not a fan of sitting and waiting personally. In levels, I like to just be able to go, go, go. I'm sure there's probably a way if I did it right, I could just go, go, go. Like right there, spin jump. But then I still have to wait for that circle to make its way around. Uh, we got Charlie Daly coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in, Charlie. Thank you for that like. How are you doing today, brother? How are you? How are you? Alright. Nope. Bad cycle there. This one right here should be good. Alright, wait on the ice block. Good one. Stay up there. I was facing right. I even adjusted right there. Oh man, that is so, so bad. I don't like that. I pressed right to look right. And the ghost still got me. I pressed right to look right and the ghost still got me. That's not cool. Any way I do it, a ghost is gonna get me. Uh, we got Dustin DeRusso coming in, dropping that like. Welcome in. Sunborn, how you doing, brother? Thank you for the like. Yeah, any way I do it. Like, if I press left here, that guy's gonna get me. No matter what I do, the ghosts are gonna get me. No matter what I do, one of the ghosts is gonna get me. Unless I just gather all the ghosts up. Unless I gather all the ghosts up. And keep them one direction. It's the only way that I can possibly manipulate them. To gather all of them up. What I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and bring them all this way. That's not going to work. I was going to try and bring them all the way left if I could. If I can bring all of them left and then hopefully off screen them. Maybe enough to where they'll, uh... Unalive. You can jump uh, on the vine and the ghost will stop. That's true, but then I have to keep jumping and facing opposite directions. Because I have ghosts on both directions of me. I have ghosts on both directions of me, so I have to keep jumping and facing one direction and then the other and then the other. That's going to be really hard. That's going to be really hard to do. Uh, we got Stephanie Lister coming in, dropping that like. Welcome in, Steph. Thank you for the like. I was standing on nothing there. Read it. Messrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs. 
offer their compliments to Professor Snape. And... Go on. And request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. And then they're all right there. So what if I just bring them all this way? What if I just bring them all this way? Then bring them all... This way. Get them way out of my way. I bring them all over here. Just get them out of my way. Maybe this will work. Must be an Eduardo level. Yep, yeah, this is an Eduardo level. We're playing this for the next several minutes up until we get to um, 7 o'clock and then we're beginning R&B Encore. So about two more minutes and we'll begin R&B Encore regardless of where I am in this level. We're just going to hop over. I'm waiting until the 7 o'clock time. All this waiting and manipulating is what's going to kill the run on this level for tonight. Because this is way too much having to wait on these ghost cycles. Like, way too much waiting. Yeah, way too much waiting there. Like, there's, there's, there's nothing else that I can do. But wait on the right cycles. That's just too much waiting for a time limit. Too much waiting to be on a time limit. Uh, this is going to be my last attempt at it. I'm going to try and go... Well... He likes his booze. Yep, yep, yep. He likes his booze. I am not a fan of uh, waiting in any type of level. Uh, it's just me personally. I like to be able to go. Go, go, go. I like to just be able to go, 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 go. And that is not something that we can do there. So we're going to hop out of here. Thank you for the level, Eduardo. Hopefully we'll get to play it again. Uh, sometime in the future. Steph said hi. What's going on? How are you? How are you? And we're going to get RMB loaded up, guys. We're getting RMB loaded up. It is now one minute until seven. So, courses. RMB Encore is right here. As you can see, two people already stepped in there. At least two people have already started and played at once. And was like, oof. Uh, not supposed to play yet. Good runs. Much love, brother. Much love. Yeah, we got the checkpoint, so that was great progress. We figured out a little bit, but that room right there is going to take quite a bit of grinding. And that is not something we have time for today. What we do have time for today is a little R&B Encore Racing. This level was made in lovely, or in loving, not lovely, in loving memory of Inertia Addict Gaming, who was playing R&B right up until his, uh, until his passing. We are now going to be beginning our race, folks. There are a lot of people who are about to start playing this game, uh, and who will be playing this level up until the first clear. This is a first clear challenge. I'm not going to be playing until the first clear. I'm just going to play for my normal time. So another hour and a half. Uh, but we're going to dedicate the whole stream toward R&B Encore. Trying to get as far as we can. And having as much fun as we can. Uh, I actually need to update the level code. I need to update the level code. So let me do that. Let me actually do that. Before we actually do anything else. Going to drop a like. We're going to exit the course and update this level code. Let's do that. That way we have the right. We got Dara Souders coming in, dropping that light. Welcome in, Dara. Thank you for the like. That level code that was up top, that's Eduardo's level, the one we were just playing, guys. So you have about two or three more seconds to grab that. And we got H86 YBN 6 BG. All right. And this will be the proper level code for this level. And the race has officially begun, guys. The race has officially begun. We are one minute into this race. One minute into this race on this level. And I haven't even started playing it yet. But we got a little sneak peek there. We got a little sneak peek. We got a little sneak peek of what's going on. There's going to be a boo and we're immediately going into some stairs. Uh, took me about four hours. Took you about four hours to beat that level? <laughs> yep, yep, there you go. Encore. Uh, took you about four hours to beat Encore. Nice. Alright, so we got to roll. We got to roll. It's going to be a one jump and then an instant jump. 
Now, see, this is something I'm not good at here, folks. I'm not good at the R&B stairs. So, I might be stuck here for quite a while. I might be stuck right here for quite a while figuring out these stairs. I'm going to give it my best. That was close. That was close. Good luck. You got this. Hey, much love, guys. Much love. This is gonna this is gonna take me a while to get used to these R and B stairs. We made it halfway up them already though. But yeah, I'm I am not a I'm not a used to any of the R and B stuff. I have not played any of the R and Bs, so I am definitely an underdog, not a favorite. We made it one step higher. I am definitely an underdog in this. Uh, we got a lot of really good and very talented and experienced R&B players like Professor Sport Mode, Captain BS. All right, so we're going up there. Captain BS, uh, just to name a few who have cleared the majority, if not all of them. Um, several others, Penguin should be playing. Kylo was going to play, but I think he's not feeling too good, so he bowed out. Uh, several others will be joining in the race though. There's a whole whole crew of people painless streamer is supposed to play it I think Tabaka is gonna play it Oh, okay So maybe I don't want to jump from the top one or I have to do a control jump Okay, so it's just gonna be a good control jump Gonna be a good control jump. Need to drop in everywhere? Not a problem, Dustin. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem. We'll be here grinding on it. If you see your brother, tell him to drop on by as well. Would love to see him in here as well, Mr. Cells, the level creator. Uh, we got Fess Parkerson coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in, Fess. Thank you so much for the like. How are we doing today? There we go. All right, we're out of the first room already, guys. Some great progress. Uff. Okay, well, that worked. We made it somehow. And now we're on to the wave. We're on to the wave. All right, we'll be riding the wave. Evelyn Van Overloop coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in. Penguin, give me a moment. I'll play your button for you. Miss Penguin, how are you doing? How are Finally, you? Finally, yeah. the fish are jammed into a styrofoam box, which helps insulate their screams of terror. But don't tell the Science Channel or they'll cut our funding again. Oof, hi! Best of luck to you as well, Evelyn. You're still playing tonight, aren't you? I know you said you were going to be going live as soon as you could. Best of luck to you as well, my friend. I've made it out of the first room so far, and uh, I was not prepared. <laughs> I am not prepared for this at all. Oof. Won't be joining for about an hour, so if y'all could let me touch the first step before you beat it. Oh, believe me. You'll touch the first step before I get into the third room. I'm surprised that I made it out of the first room already. I'm surprised I made it past these stairs already. <laughs> so, I won't be beating it. You can go by uh, the captain and the professor streams and, and, and a few of the others and let them know that you would like to touch the first step before they beat it. <laughs> All right, so seven kicks. Seven kicks is the number. Seven kicks is the magic number, guys. Are you in the Discord? No, I am not in the Discord. I am not in the Discord. I'm not going to be uh, in the Discord chatting with folks just because I'm family-friendly and I don't know that all the others are going to be um, wanting to be family-friendly or are family-friendly. So I already told Professor. I haven't told Cabinets yet. There you go. Yeah, no, I'm not joining the Discord. Uh, they can uh, have fun with that themselves. I'm not going to be running the whole race the whole time. I'm just doing my normal stream. Uh, but I'm going to play it for the duration of my stream. And uh, since I know that there are going to be folks in there who may not necessarily be family friendly, I don't want them to try and keep their um, chat, you know, rated G just for me. Uh, we got Chris Ward coming in, dropping the line. It's Tubaka. What's up, brother? How are you? It's Christina. Are you stupid or are you deaf? Christina, you idiot! You come to our house, you get my wife's name right! What? Christina! 
All right, so don't hold run when you go in that door. We got Cameron coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in a Moxing Gaming. What's going on, brother? How are you? How are you? Thank you for the like. He said, hey, Red. Uh, you're welcome to join my Discord. I'm enforcing family friendly. No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> like I said, I don't know. I didn't know what Discord everybody was going to be in, but um, I'm just not going to do Discord tonight. Just not going to do Discord tonight because... Um, I didn't want to put anyone out. Didn't want to put anyone out. No worries. Just wondered. I did ask though, and they said we'd be keeping it uh, cord family friendly. It's in Tabaka if you do. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I didn't know. I know that somebody uh, somebody created a Discord, and I thought they were doing it there. Uh, but that no, that's not a problem at all. Like, I may pop in. I may pop in if uh, everybody's keeping it family friendly, but at the same time. Kind of want to just focus up a little bit as well. Okay, so I don't really know what I can do there. Except wait for him to come and get behind me. We're getting out of the stairs. Totally understand. I already messed up. And I still made it out of there somehow. Okay. Okay. Discord is family friendly. Gotcha, CJ. Gotcha, gotcha. And welcome in, CJ. How are you doing, brother? CJ is one of the one of the folks who uh, helped put all this together. Yeah, I just didn't want you know to put anybody out because I know there are a lot of folks who may not necessarily be family friendly who are playing it and who might have been the Discord and you know I didn't want them to think okay well we got this one guy in here that's family friendly that um. We're going to have to hold our tongue for a type deal. <laughs> yeah, I keep holding. I got to stop holding run on that. I keep holding run on that. Four, five, six, seven, jump. So a seven and jump. And then I want this guy to come over here. That way I can run. Okay, yep. Yeah, and we want to get back on the wave. That's what I thought. But, you know. <laughs> I'm doing good, Mace. Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, we got Chris, Mace, and JoJo coming in and dropping the likes and the heart. Welcome in. Chris, Keith, Mace Lloyd, and JoJo. How are you doing, darling? How are you? How are you? Where is your button? There it is. JoJo. Pose. 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 The stairs aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be, to be honest. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. That's going to be more deaths than the stairs, probably. I was concerned, too, and about uh, how chaotic it would get with however many might join. But I'll be jumping in, too. There you go. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Pure chaos. A lot of people streaming it at the same time. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talking over each other. A lot of chats being read. You know, it's just going to be... It's going to be a little crazy in there, I feel like. Baka Kids uh, kicks hard. Yeah, watch your shins. With some of the players in, it's a real possibility, right? <laughs> right? What's going on, V? How are you doing today? How are you? How are you? I'm going to try and keep up with chat, guys, the best I can. But I'm also going to be needing to focus up on this level quite a bit. Um, here's V's button. Oh, jumped early. Jumped early. Jojo said, Happy Monday! Happy Monday! How are you, darlings? Let's go, let's go. Oh, that's such a tough little corner there. That's a tough little corner. Not bad, though. I have already made more progress than I thought I would in the first 15 minutes than I thought I would make in the first hour. So we're doing good. That is Sailor Moon. That is. That's V Sound. That's the locket. Not too bad. How's my day? My day was pretty good. It was very cold this morning when I woke up. Otherwise, it's been pretty good. Cannot complain at all. 
Too far out. Too far out. Too far out. There we go. Oh, swing and a miss. Yep. If you don't get it, might as well just go ahead and stop. I love or love you, V. I miss Sailor Moon. Yep. Yep. It's been a long, long time. You're learning so much about me, right? <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump. Jump. Bring him back. Run. Jumped early. Now I have to figure this wave out. This is something that I've never done, folks. I've never done the wave that I can remember. Got to cycle the other streamers. Not a problem. Not a problem, Chris. Thank you so much for dropping by, brother. If anybody else wants to do that, too, and go show some of the other runners love, no problem. You don't have to let me know. Just feel free to watch whoever you like. Um, I just appreciate y'all coming in, hanging out, dropping a light and a couple comments. Greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not going to run the entire time. I know there are some of them that are going to run the entire time. Not me. Not me. I own DLC Season 3 and 4, or DIC Season 3 and 4. Anytime I see a D and a I, I think a lowercase L. <laughs> the DLC 3 and 4 for Sailor Moon. Uh, I'm watching everyone. There you go. There you go. Nothing wrong with that, brother. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that at all, bro. Uh, we got JP Fire One Nine coming in. JP Fire One Nine over on the purple side. What's going on, brother? How are we doing today? All right, we got to go over. Progress! Progress! What's up, JP? How you doing, buddy? Oh, yes, Daddy! Let's get it. He said, good luck on your run tonight, dude. Hey, much love, brother. Much love. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I've gotten to the wave so far. We just have to figure out this wave. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. Doing a lot better than I thought I would be doing, I'll be honest with you. I haven't watched it since I was in fourth or fifth grade. There you go. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, to be honest. Didn't think I would get out of the first room. This quickly, anyway. I figured maybe toward the end of the stream. Oh, yes, Daddy. You're doing good? Hey, yo. There we go. That's what I love to hear. That's what I love to hear. Hopefully, everybody had a great weekend and a good Monday as well. Mondays are never great, so maybe just a good one, but, you know. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, we're getting past the stairs fairly consistent. Oh, the ghost, the ghost tricked me. I just work every day, so every day is about the same. I heard that, brother. I heard that. That is a fact, sir. And it looks like uh, Speedy just went live to, uh, Join in on the race. Everybody's getting on the race. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the wave. What do y'all say? Y'all ready to get back to the wave? I'm ready. There we go. Happy Monday, Bo. Welcome in. Let me focus up just a second. 
Welcome in, Bo. Thank you for the heart reaction. How you doing today, brother? Oh. Early jump, early jump. Going to spread the love, say hi. Not a problem, JP. Thanks for dropping by and spreading some love my way. Tell everybody I say good luck, much love, and GG's. Let's go. What's up, Bo? How are you? How are you, brother? Thank you for the heart again, my friend. Ah, oh, missed it. Missed that jump. Oof. This is going to be a tough one, guys. This is going to be a tough level. We already knew that coming in. We already knew that coming in. I said no expectations of a clear. I'm just going to play it until 8.30, our normal time. Get as far as we can and have some fun. And then we'll see who is still live around that time playing it. And we'll raid over to somebody who's still playing it. I know there are several who are going to be playing the entire time. Going for the clear. Uh, we got William coming in, dropping the heart. Welcome in, William. Thank you for that heart reaction, my friend. How are you doing today? Much love. Much, much love. Oof, missed. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. There we go. Alright, we're in there. Let's get back to the wave. Three, four, five, six, seven, jump. And get here. Drag him over that way and go. Corner jump. Ah. Oh. Oh, I gotta get up there. Okay, I thought the wave was gonna be longer. I thought the wave was gonna be longer. There we go. That's progress. That's progress. We're learning. I'm not reading. I'm not reading the rooms fast enough. So we're, we're gonna take, you know, the, the death progress. Death reads. It's gonna take, it's gonna take a little bit of time to learn the uh, dance. But once we do, it'll be fine. We'll make a lot more progress quicker. Let's go. Thank you for the exclamation progress. Jump, Joe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kicks and jump. Then we get this ghosty over here. And go and jump. And then back here and then up there. All right. And we're already on to progress. Looks like we're going to have to... Um, it's like we're going to have to fight him. Somehow, it's like we're going to have to fight him. Doing good, bro. It's been a Monday, but it's Christmas week, so I'm in good spirits. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Same here. Same here. It was cold. It was cold this morning, Bo. It got below freezing for us. Can you believe that? We were below freezing for the first time all year. Actually, like, well below freezing. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. And I didn't count. I'm going to have to count them bombs. I'm going to have to count them bomb kicks. <laughs> I thought I had one more. Thought I had one more. Oh, that's going to be so rough. It's going to be so rough. Nope. One misstep on that staircase and I feel like I've already failed it. One misstep on the staircase, and I feel like I failed. Which, pretty much a half. <laughs> so, <laughs> expect a lot of deaths on the staircase. Uh, yep, just my auto-reply comment there. Nothing to be uh, alerted about. We got Ashley Stewart. That's Simply Ashley coming in, dropping the heart reaction. Welcome in, Simply Ashley. How are you doing? My compatriot in Yoshi eating there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Come on over here, ghosty. Alright. Up and over. And then up top. And then we are going for the... Oh! I was going to go for the vine climb to see what's up there. There's got to be something up there. Got to be something up there. The key to getting the key. Probably the key itself. Just jumping around and say hi to everyone. Not a problem, Ashley. I appreciate you jumping in and saying hi, my friend. Tell Speedy and everyone else best of luck for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. Nope. Uh, if I would have been home, I would have joined this. There you go, there you go. Yep, yep. We're just trying to get as many people racing as possible right now, so... It's a first clear challenge. Oof. That last stair is hard because the entire stair climb, I'm not holding the run button, but I have to re-grab the run button on that last stair to make the jump up. And I keep forgetting to grab the run button. Like that. And then when I did grab the run button that time, I went too far. I went too far. Excuse me. Woo. I'm sure that uh, several folks have already gotten past the uh, Ludwigs. I'm probably trailing far, far behind everyone else right now, but that's fine. That's fine. Like I said, I don't expect to be anywhere near a clear, the first clear, much less a clear tonight. Just gonna get as far as we can and have as much fun as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. Crazy difficult, yes, indeed. Crazy difficult is the name of RB. Well, that's not how you do it. You're almost there, yeah, buddy. So I've gotten two Ludwigs. I've gotten to the Ludwigs. I grabbed the vine last time I was there, Dustin. I grabbed the vine, but I hit a saw up there. I'm thinking that I need to go up top to get the key. That's my thought process. That I need to go up top to get the key. And then come back down to get into the key door. Enjoying dinner at the moment. I'll read the rest of that in one moment. Uh, broccoli cheddar soup and steak and cheese Subway sandwich. Nice. Nice. I'm going to be having beef stew tonight. It is definitely a uh, soup and stew type of day. Definitely a soup and stew or soup or stew type of day for me. Nope. Too far out. Too far out. There we go. Nope. Not enough run speed. <laughs> Didn't get enough speed on that jump. And too much height. 23 here. Low is 17. Yikes. How long will I be on? I'm going to be playing some on normal 830. Normal 830. I'm not going any longer. I'm just playing my normal stream. I'm not... Racing for the clear. I'm not going to sit here and try and play all night and race for the clear or four hours or however long it takes. Uh, I'm just going to play this as a dedication. Dedication. It's a dedication level, so I'm going to play it. Um, and, you know, race along with the others. Just have fun. This is actually one of my first actual RMB levels. So I am at a huge, huge handicap compared to a lot of the other runners. They have played through many of them. Um, there are a lot of awesome runners with 
crazy good Mario skills running right now. So, you know, I'm just playing for fun. Need a status update on the others to make you feel more comfortable? Uh, I, I don't really need that. That's actually going to make me feel even more uncomfortable knowing that there are six rooms ahead of me. <laughs> if I know that there are six rooms ahead of me, then, uh, you know, I'm just going to feel ashamed. I'm going to feel, I'm going to feel ashamed. A lot of the runners are actually in uh, Tubaka's Discord right now, chit-chatting, but I just feel that's going to be way too hectic. I feel like it's going to be way too many people, way too many streamers in Discord, um, all talking to their chats, all reading their chats, all welcoming people in. There's going to be a lot of talking over each other and stuff, and uh, that's just going to be a, a way too busy of a scenario for me. So I'm not going to hop in the Discord due to that reason. You're just as far as everyone else. Really. I'm just as far as everyone else. Nobody else has beaten Ludwig. Nobody else has gotten past Ludwig yet. That's hard to believe. That's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that some of these other uh, runners have not gotten past Ludwig. Nobody is further than you. Welp. The pressure's on. You mean nobody got the checkpoint yet? I <laughs> like there's a checkpoint. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jump. Yeah, I find that really hard to believe that nobody's gotten past Ludwig yet. Right, I had the least amount, probably the least amount of uh, experience in the RMBs. Well, the room after Ludwig. Okay, so see, I haven't beaten Ludwig yet. I haven't gotten past Ludwig. So there's at least one or more people past Ludwig. Nobody got the checkpoint. Yep, there you go. So see, nobody got the checkpoint. So we're all at the same spot. Starting spot, anyway. <laughs> we're all in the same starting spot, because there ain't no checkpoints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... I just need to figure out this Ludwig part, if I need to go over the top, or what. And stop falling in pits, and landing on spikes, and feeding booze, and um, yeah. Fire bars. And short jumping. <laughs> Lots of short jumps here, folks. And panic jumping. Like that. Alright. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, jump. At least I got that figured out really quick. I'm really glad that I got that figured out really quick. Oh. Figure the less stress makes it more fun for you. At least enjoy the night. Oh, well, that's the thing. There's no stress at all. No stress for me because, like I said, I'm not I'm not even considering the possibility of being the first clear. Um, I'm not even considering the possibility of getting a clear tonight. So, for me, it's all about just playing the level, having fun, doing as best I can, getting as far as I can. Six, seven... And then when I do come back and play it again, I will at least have some knowledge and know what's going on. And this is my first real taste at an R&B level. First real taste at an R&B level that I remember. So this is great experience for uh, future sales levels. From my understanding, R&B Encore takes the best of all of the R&B series, the best rooms out of each of the levels in the series, and combines them and optimizes them in a way as to be a new level. And an absolutely amazing experience.
So my whole ordeal with this race is I'm not looking at it as a race. Uh, it is technically a race. First clear race. That's the whole premise is a first clear race. I'm just looking at it as a, uh, a new challenging level to have fun with. So no pressure, no stress. Which will probably be a lot better. Like when I was playing through uh, Bowser X Machina, I've been playing it so much that I was really like feeling the pressure and the stress to try and get the clear. I was really feeling that this past week and that's I'm so glad that we finally got it. But this being a brand new level no one's ever seen before. There is no pressure. There is no stress. And I know I have no hope of getting the first clear. Or even a clear. <laughs> I'll be doing good just to get past Ludwig. I'll be happy with that. That'll be great. Because right now, the first couple of rooms are going to be, like, hard for me to master. I've never done these things. I did some stairs in R&M. I did some stairs kind of like this in R&M. So that did help me get prepared for this. Uh, but as far as the wave, the wave is a whole new scenario for me. I've never, that I can remember, actually done a wave. The little blue wave. Never actually done one of those that I can remember. Seen it done a million and one times, but when you're the one riding it, it has a really weird feel to it. Very odd momentum and timing to the jumps. <sighs> All right. Oof. <laughs> Got Rusty coming in, dropping that like. Welcome in, Rusty. What's up, brother? How you doing today? Thank you for that like. Oof. I didn't think I made it. I didn't think I made the jump. Didn't think I made that jump. What's up? What's up, Rusty? How you doing today, brother? How are you? Thank you for the like. Much love. Much, much love. Ugh. These stairs, man, I'm telling you. They ain't easy. One mistake, and that's it. One mistake, and that's it. Stairs are a shot. Jumped early. Uh, I know how you are. You're competitive like I am. Regardless of care, you're still hard on yourself. Uh, I blame all the years we lost your nephew on Rocket League. He's the reason I don't game anymore. I realize I'm too old to keep up with these kids. I know, right? <laughs> I've actually dialed down the competitiveness a lot since we stopped playing Rocket League. And since I stopped playing Call of Duty games so much. Like, after, after not playing Call of Duty and not playing Rocket League and not playing those games like that, with all the super sweaties and all the uh, very toxic folks, I've dialed down the competitive competitiveness a lot. Fortnite I still feel a little competitive about, but... Not really. I've just kind of... tried to have a lot more fun and a lot less raging in my gaming. There we go, okay. Ah, I wanted to climb. I did two, dotted down to nothing. There you go, haven't gamed. <laughs> See, I dialed it down and I still play video games. <laughs> so I'm a step ahead. I'm a step ahead, I dialed down and I, I still play games. All right. There we go. Bada boom, bada bing. Oof. 
Somehow the timing was wrong. Somehow the timing was wrong on the bomb. I jumped. That was odd. That was really, really weird. Dum dum da dum. Getting around that spike is a pain, boys. <laughs> uh, that is pain. Want to try a high on life game but can't find the energy to stay awake after the kids go to bed? Here it's a... Uh, not SFW, yeah. Not safe for work. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It was created by the creators of Rick and Morty. There is a lot of language and uh, insanity in it. It looks like a lot of fun. I will say that. It looks like a lot of fun. Not something I can play on stream. Not something I could play on stream. Looks like a lot of fun, though. Um, one of the biggest things that I think would be a major turnoff to me on that game, as far as I've seen, everybody has had... Oh, they're key coins. They're key coins. Oh, yikes. Okay, so it's all key coins. As far as I've seen, everybody has had issues with trying to figure out where to go and what to do. Stuff like that, like... Seems like the navigation and stuff isn't the best in the game. Like, there's no real great way to figure out where to go. Your little... Your little indicators will, uh... Send you random spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe for work. Also, uh, family friendly, yep. NSFW, not safe for work. Well, we got progress. We got key coins to get. Uh, you can play on stream if you want. If you went 18 plus, hint, hint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is true. That is true. Uh, I don't think I'll ever go 18 plus though. I don't think I'll ever go 18 plus. I do think at the uh, beginning of the year. I do think at the beginning of the year I'm going to relax the. Um, relax it a little bit more. Move more toward like a, a PG 13 ish. Just try and, you know, make sure there are no F bombs. No F bombs and things of that nature. I'll still be myself, but, you know, I'm mainly wanting to relax the chat, allow people to be who they are in chat, um, that sort of thing. But I don't think I'll ever go 18 plus. Is it because all your followers are old? No, maybe do 18 plus over on the purple side. So I will not be going to the purple side unless I go full time. I can't co-stream or I can't dual stream. So here's my thing. I can't dual stream. I can't dual stream. I can't stream here and there at the same time. Like, uh, you have to pay to be able to do that. I can't do that. And I'm not going to pay to be able to do that, A. And I'm not going to split up my schedule to part streaming over here and part streaming over there. I'm not going to do that. 100% not going to do that, A. B, I'm not going to um, do family friendly here and then not family friendly there. Not going to do that, 100%. Whatever I do, I'm going to stick with it 100% and do it all in because, I mean, there's going to be people coming over here from there and vice versa who are used to the chat and the rules on the other side. And then it just it, it creates unnecessary conflict. People from over here go over there and they're like, oh, well, this guy, you know, he's super foul mouth. Like, I don't want to follow him anymore. And then they come over here from over there and they're like, oh, well, 
He's being fake, being family friendly, so I don't want to follow him anymore. That's why I've told several people, if you're going to do family friendly, go all in with it. Don't do 18 plus after darks, stuff like that. You know, if you're not going to be family friendly, then just don't be family friendly, period. You know, do your thing. Do who you are. Be who you are. Wallet and coming in, dropping the light. Welcome in. Thank you for that like. There's no need to be fake with it. There's no need to split it up like that and confuse your audience. And if you're not the type of person who wants to commit to being family friendly, then don't. Just don't do it. <laughs> Period. Don't do it. If you're the type of person who is family friendly and you want to commit to it, then there you go. Don't 50-50 it. Don't jump around. Go all in. Always go all in with whatever you do, folks. At least that's the way I look at it. Valid points? Yeah, definitely understand. Yeah, that's just... That's just the way I look at it, personally. I know there are people who don't necessarily agree with that and stream family friendly and then have 18 plus streams uh, but you know that's uh that's that's for them to figure out if it works or not for them for me i i wouldn't do it personally would not work for me and then you're also confusing yourself because you're like okay well I can say and do whatever I want on this stream and then like, oh wait, uh, you start slipping up on your family friendly content. Get those stairs. Oof. Almost got them. I still dying on them a little bit. But could you imagine us playing COD again like the good old days with me spitting bad words? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, in general, non family friendly vocabulary type of guy, but I can keep it in check. There you go, see? And there's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Rusty, you see me over in Ken's all the time. You already know, like. Most of y'all in here already know that, you know, when I'm not on stream, you know, I don't sit there and non-stop just drop profanity, but, you know, I will sit there and, you know, you know, curse words will be used and some uh, adult content will be said, but on stream for the sake of being family friendly and being inviting to the kiddos who might want to play and stuff like that. Uh, that's what I decided to go with and start off with. Like I said, I am going to relax that a little bit. It's not going to be 18 plus at all. It's not going to be 18 plus full mature content type deal. It will be, um, it will still be, you know, a, uh, a limit on certain things. Uh, facts can't do that. Yep. Once you get too comfortable, I can see that happening, right? Oh, I'd be 18 plus all day. Competitive, little brother syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, there, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's like I was telling several other people who were talking about, you know, doing the 18 plus uh, and family friendly stuff. I was like, just, just if, if what you want to do is 18 plus content, just do it. Like, go all in with it. There's nothing wrong with that. The main thing that you have to think about is it's your channel. It's your stream. It's your show. It's your safe place. You create the rules. You do what you want to do. Because the more genuine and the more yourself that you are, the better you're going to do. Like just straight up, the better you're going to do. And that's just truth. That's just truth and honesty. Yeah, I'm getting the wave down a little bit. Getting the wave down. Now I've just got to get that Ludwig down. Getting those key coins. 
There's no way I can jump over to the next one, so I have to go back down into the vine. I have to go one vine at a time. Trying to figure out the best pattern to do it in. Probably skipping one, then coming back, then coming back across, stuff like that. Probably going to be the best way to do it. Skipping one. <laughs> Into the pit we go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, wait, you're baby cribs? I am. No, he's he's not he's not my little brother. No, he's saying he's the little brother of his family. I I'm the youngest of mine. I, I definitely get the uh the the little brother syndrome deal. <laughs> Bo with the yeet. Let's go. Let's get on our Yoshi real quick. Let's give him a yeet. I mean, we've known each other and been friends long enough. We might as well be brothers, but no, hey, we're we're not actually related. And how weird would that be? I guess he'd have to have a different daddy with a different last name. Or he took JoJo's last name. <laughs> Who wears the pants in the family now? <laughs> Did you take JoJo's last name, little bro? I'm scared. Oh, man. I mean, might as well be, right? So, redhead is baby cribs. I am. I am. I'm the baby. At a ripe young 37, I am the baby. Youngest of five here. I know this feeling all too well. There you go. <laughs> yep, that's right. JoJo knows who wears the pants. JoJo knows who wears the pants in, the, in that family. It's the little ones. <laughs> the little ones wear the pants in that family. Mr. Finn and Miss Era. <laughs> Definitely ain't Bo and JoJo no more. Uh, I'll be a little Krebs. He's older than me. So, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm old. So, yeah. Definitely makes sense. <laughs> Definitely makes sense to me. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. Believe me. I know. <laughs> I know they do. That's why I said it. I corrected myself. It ain't even JoJo wearing the pants no Momo. <laughs> it's definitely the kiddos. Alright, so maybe that's a good route to go. And just... Ugh. I felt like I had a strategy there. Felt like I had a strategy there. Go to the rear first. And then work my way back to the other side. Definitely getting the stairs down though. And the wave. Definitely getting the stairs and the wave down. If I can just remember to do this properly instead of messing up on it so much. Nope. If I can remember that stupid cloud. That boo in the cloud. I would be in much better shape. A uh, perfect example of those britches. Finn still sleeping in our bed. Yep, there you go. Uh, I know we're overran in this household. I don't even know what wearing the pants means anymore. <laughs> I lost that many years ago when I got married. So those pants have been long gone before the kids took them from JoJo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yep, there you go. There you go. 
As long as you ain't wearing the skirt, you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, wow, I skipped one. I totally skipped a block there. Totally skipped a block there. There is a chance to redo it. If you don't get married, you'll get to wear the pants. Yeah, if you don't get married, you get to wear the pants forever. That's how it goes. Maybe. Maybe. Down here, wearing pants is too hot. We gotta wear shorts. Short shorts. Too early. Maybe Jordan is onto something here. <laughs> I mean, my mama didn't raise no fool. No, <laughs> kidding, <laughs> kidding, kidding. Oof. Oof. Here in a minute, I might have to take a little break, guys. I might have to use the restroom. It's getting really close. Getting really close to a potty break time for me. Go, go, go! If I don't manipulate him right the first time, then I fail that every time. That's all about proper manipulation of the boo cloud. Proper manipulation lets you through. Oh, I didn't think I made that. Okay. To get the manipulation, you gotta run enough forward and then backwards at the right time. <laughs> Missed the jump. Professor was in the goal room? No way. Already? Does not surprise me. Does not surprise me that Professor was already in the goal room. I'm sure Captain's probably been pretty close too by now. Uh, minus the five-ish years in between. I took the pants while we were dating in high school. Uh, solid 17 years. Does that sound right? Yep, yeah, sounds sounds about right. Jeez, man. Yeah, that I mean, that don't surprise me. That don't surprise me. An hour and one of them is already at the goal room. Craziness. But like I said, those two there have probably the most experience with R&B out of maybe anybody. I know Cap has beat all of them, I'm pretty sure. Professor, I think, has beat all of them as well. Or most of them. I'm pretty sure they both beat all the R&B series. So they have plenty of experience with this. And this is basically a fresh R&B experience that you're witnessing me get. Never beat any of them. Never played any of them. The closest thing I've played is R&M Speed Metal for a little bit. Didn't even beat that. Didn't even finish it. Yikes. It looked like a goal that you have to go do something then come back to the goal room. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Well, there's no clear condition set. No clear condition. It was I was only in a stream for all of 20 seconds. What I just heard, the switch is hidden in the goal room. Ah... Okay, Sales has an 8-hour clear check. 
Well, Sales has an eight hour clear check from what, um, from what Dustin was saying earlier. He had about four hours. No way to jump over the wheels. I don't think I'm going to be able to jump over those saw blades. Because I can't gain any momentum holding on to that. I don't think there's any way I can jump over the saw blade to the next one. They're just too far apart. The vines are way too far apart. Fairly certain of that. I, mean, I can try it. I can definitely try it, but I'm fairly certain they're too far apart. Yeah, I can't even get over them at all. Like, I won't be able to... I can basically jump straight up because of the positioning of them. If it was just one saw blade instead of two side by side, I might be able to make it, but it'd still be really tight because of the position. Because of the positioning of the um, vine. The vine is so far down on the saw blades. The vine is so far down, it's not at the top of the saw blade, so I'd never make it over. Uh, I'm gonna let you marinate with Professor in the goal room, but then I felt bad. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Trying to get the code. Maybe when I get home, I might do a small stream and give it a try. Well, there you go. The code is at the top of my uh, stream, if you can see it. Level code is at the top of my stream, if you can see it, sir. I still need to fix that. I still haven't fixed that. Look like the vine was up higher. Didn't get a good look at it. Yep, not a problem. Yeah, where it's at, I don't even think if it was just one saw blade that I can make those jumps. Uh, if it was up a little bit higher, I could probably make it even if it was just one, but there's two. There's two of them side by side, so I'll never be able to get that. Yikes. Actually, I wonder how Rhea's show is doing. That's a good question. That's a good question. Right now, it's blocked by the word live on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I need to fix that. In order to fix that, I'm going to have to redo all the stuff on my entire stream. That's why I've been putting it off. I've been putting it off because I have to redo the likes and the follows and all that stuff in order to put the level code down in a visible spot. Either that or move the um, move the alert box up and move the now playing level code down below it. That might work. That might work. On uh, mine, if you turn it, you'll get the front and rear half. Yeah. Yeah. Turn your phone horizontal. Yeah, I just need time to change it. I, I was I was uh, made aware of it. JoJo made me aware of it, and I have not had the time, really, to uh, tinker with it. So much other stuff going on, but I do need to change it. I might try, and if I get time... If I get time tomorrow, I might try and just move the alert box up and see if that'll work. If I just move the alert box up. Yep, that's it right there. That's it right there. Can you read it off while I type it? It is H86YBNG8G or 68G. Take a screenshot of that. There you go. Much love, guys. Much love. Yeah, I'll try and fix that. I'll I'll tinker with it tomorrow if I get a chance to. I have to fix it on both screens. 
So it's just a matter of repositioning some stuff. I'd rather not have to mix, mess with everything else. So if I can just bring the level code and uh, playing now, playing down, and bring the alert box up, then that's what I'll do. I'll try and do that. There you go. There you go. Dum dum dum. Ditto. Ditto. All right. Nope. <laughs> Run the way the wrong way. Uh, the word live, uh, he doesn't even need to be there. We know you're live. Well, I mean, that's something Facebook does. I, I have no control over that. That's just Facebook. I have no control over that. If I could change that, I would. But I have zero control. Too early. All right, I need to use the restroom, guys. So I'll be right back. Give me a minute or two. Um, yep, I will be right back if I can get this to work. Where's my BRB screen? There it is. Wrong button. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying meta. Yep, meta. Meta, it's Facebook. I, I'm going to call it Facebook forever. Had to break down and use uh, Zoom recently. Oh, I don't need, envy those who use that day in, day out. I heard that. I heard that. I don't either. I don't either. Yeah, I will forever call it meta or Facebook, not meta. Forever call it meta. Forever call it Facebook. It's a Facebook gaming thing. I'm right, much better. Much, much better, folks. So we can't say that um, everybody's in the same point in the level as me now. We know everybody's probably past me by now. <laughs> and I am pulling up the rear. As expected. But we do have some folks who are just now going live. How much prefer... How much prefer meats to pizza? Um... Not sure what you're getting out there, John. Uh, 
Uh, I definitely prefer meat on my pizza, but uh, not a meta pizza. It's supposed to say I much prefer. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I definitely prefer a meaty pizza myself. All the meat. <laughs> I've hit that spike one too many times. Too fast on my jumps. I mean, too quick. Uh, minus the ham. No, give me ham. Ham and pineapple. Ooh, yummy. I had that last night. Homemade ham and pineapple and bacon. So good. It was so yummy. Ah, uh, I tried pepperoni bacon. Let's go. We got Gregory coming in, dropping the like and the share. Welcome in. How are we doing today, sir? Thank you for that like. Thank you for that share. Pepperoni bacon. That sounds amazing as well. I like my pizza with all the meat, mushrooms, and pineapple. That's my preferred way to eat pizza. All the meat, pepperoni included, all the meat, mushrooms, and pineapple. Oh, I was, I was onto something there. I was onto something there. Uh, I don't like the sausage. <sighs> Barely got that. Give me a minute and I'll read chat. He's gonna come up top. Uh, I don't like the sausage or ham. Ham is okay, but not worth it. I get supreme. I'm not a pineapple fan. Not gonna fight those that are. There you go. Don't care for black hollows. Me neither. Or mushrooms. Love them. Uh, I usually do either pepperoni and pineapple or pepperoni and onion. Don't like onion. Don't like onion or peppers or black olives or green olives or ain't nope. Lauren likes her pizza with artichoke hearts. Nope. And spinach. I could do the spinach, but not artichoke hearts. Not into all that stuff. Oh, man. A uh, specialty pizza near me had an amazing chicken barbecue pizza. I'm down for that. I love me some chicken and some barbecue. Um, with pineapple was so good. Now, that sounds great. 
That sounds amazing. Uh, that reminds me of Italian pizza in Italy. I've had it, uh, had eggs, artichoke hearts, and asparagus. Yuck. <laughs> that does not sound good to me at all. <laughs> I don't want any of those things on my pizza. I don't like artichoke hearts. I don't like asparagus. I like eggs, but not on a pizza. Nope. Nope. I'm good. Ten out of ten would not try. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff I say I will try anything once. Ten out of ten would not try that once. Now we're making progress on this. We are making progress on this. Well, that's death. Sounds like the worst pizza ever, right? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Oh, it sounds so bad. The only way to make it worse is to add peppers, onions, and uh, black olives and anchovies. Ugh. Like, what can we possibly do to make the worst pizza ever? Let's put all the stuff that nobody likes on a pizza and put it on a pizza. I'm sure there's some people who liked it. I'll tell you what, uh, what is lit breakfast pizza with sausage gravy? Uh, is the sauce? That's food. I've never had breakfast pizza that I know of. Never had breakfast pizza. I could do sausage gravy for the pizza sauce. I could do that. I could see that. I could see that. But, uh, yeah, never had a breakfast pizza. And if it has egg on it, then I am not going to be a fan. If it has egg on my pizza, I don't want it. Ah, I jumped into it. I jumped right into it. The stairs are pretty much conquered. The wave is pretty much conquered. Just manipulating that boo properly every time. There's a place, a gas station, that serves the best breakfast pizza near me. Called Casey's General Store. Nice, nice. Yeah, like I said, I've probably never had it. I don't think I've ever had it. Does not sound like anything I would like. Uh, maybe if, as long as there's no egg on it, I'd be fine with it. But then to me, that's just pizza because, you know, it's just all the... Bacon and sausage on pizza. That's what I eat all, all the time anyway, so. <laughs> like, whatever. Might as well just give me a meat lovers at that point. Might as well just give me a meat lovers at that point. <coughs> all right. Get away from me. Oh no, he came right back up. He came right back up in my face. <sighs> I 
I'd be super stoked to get past that door. Get past that key door. That'd be so nice. Probably not going to happen, though. Just to see what was on the other side. Jump too high again. Jump too high again, folks. It's got to be a control jump under all of those Lidwigs. And jump too early there. All right. We've only got about 12 more minutes left in the stream. To make some real deal progress. Should have kept going. Should have kept going. Scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, sausage, cheese, and sausage gravy. Everything sounds good except the scrambled eggs. And then it needs to have bacon as well. I need bacon on there. Can't have a breakfast pizza without bacon. Can't have breakfast without bacon. Oh, come on. Only if it was a biscuit crust. That sounds good. And of course, bacon is on there. There you go. There you go. Gotcha. We, uh... Lauren and I went to uh, Cracker Barrel for lunch yesterday and ate breakfast for lunch. That was our lunch, was Cracker Barrel breakfast. And I had... Uh, scrambled eggs with cheese. Um... Nope, I'm dead. Scrambled eggs with cheese, bacon, sausage, country ham, biscuits with apple butter and gravy, and hash brown casserole, and oh my goodness, so good. And we got to order fried pickles as well. So good. And then she had the hash brown casserole meal with a side of grits. The one time he was not jumping already. It is a biscuit crust. Interesting. Interesting. So to me, that's not really pizza. That's not really pizza. It sounds like they just took biscuits and gravy and put everything else in there. Put everything else on top of the, uh, like, we got a place here called That Flippin' Egg. Where you can get a bowl that's either grits or hash browns or biscuit bottom. And it's biscuits and gravy if that's your base. And then you get to put all the uh, other stuff, all the other breakfast stuff that you want on top of it. Sounds more like that. I know they make it into a pizza, but sounds more like that than a uh, pizza to me. You know what I mean? Like, 
Same concept, just made in, in the form of a pizza. They call it a scrambler bowl. They're really good. They are really good. I'll give them that much. Oh, the saw got me. I went in center. Uh, I love eggs. I love over easy scrambled omelets. Everything. And I'm probably even more weird. I love ketchup on eggs. So when I was a kid, I used to eat ketchup on my uh, scrambled eggs. When I was a kid, but I don't even eat too much ketchup anymore, period. I'm a huge, huge mustard guy. But I'm probably the more weird one because I only eat scrambled and over hard eggs. I do not eat anything with a runny yolk. No runny yolks for me. I like my eggs cooked thoroughly. Oh no, I should have just stayed up top. I was trying to get down and get across. Getting better at the Ludwigs. I am getting better at them. Just don't know if I'll get good enough in time to get out of that. Oh no! <laughs> Again! Um, I need my omelet with my toppings mixed into the eggs, not just stuffed in the middle and folded over. Yeah, I kind of I kind of agree on that. I kind of agree on that. Um, it's okay if they're just stuffed in the middle of it, but I definitely prefer it when it's mixed into the eggs. Definitely prefer it that way. All right, we're only gonna have enough time for a few more attempts. Everybody has their own way. They like their food. Uh, never gonna criticize. Yep, definitely agree with that. And I'll read the rest of it momentarily. Uh, anybody, but I had eggs over medium. And it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I've had them. I just don't like the runny yolks, personally. I don't want any yolk. Bust my yolk and fry that joker hard. <laughs> no yolks. Uh, I'll tell you what I do if I get an omelet. I like American cheese melted over the top of it. See, I'm not a fan of American cheese, to be honest. Not a fan of American cheese. It's okay. If there's any other cheese available... Any other cheese available. I don't care what it is. If there's any other cheese available, I'm not getting American cheese. I don't care what the other cheese is. I will eat that over American cheese all day. Um, favorite cheese? Pepper Jack. 100% Pepper Jack. So good. Oof, jumped too early. Jumped too early.
All right. Last couple of attempts here, guys, for me tonight. I'm sure it'll probably be beaten before I could play um, any other time, so... Yep. Just had pepper jack cheese on my uh, steak and cheese from Subway. Oh, so good. So good. So good. Any sub sandwich, if they got pepper jack, I'm putting pepper jack on it. 100%. Anything if they got pepper jack. I'll even like stop at gas stations in the morning and go to the little, um, the little, um, like refrigerated thing. And just get like straight up pepper jack cheese sticks. And just eat the whole pepper jack cheese stick. <laughs> like get two or three of them. That'll be my breakfast. From time to time. Every once in a while. All right. All right, we're going to get one more good run to the Ludwigs. One more good run to the Ludwigs. Next time we get to the Ludwigs, that'll be the final run. Final run right here. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, do I like deviled eggs? Absolutely. Love deviled eggs. Love them, love them, love them. But that is going to do it for me, guys and gals. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, hang on, though. I am going to raid y'all over to somebody else who's playing this. We'll just have to see who all we have on right now. Uh, we're, we're actually just going to raid over to Professor Sport Mode. He's playing this level right now, and from what we've heard, he's already been to the goal room. So let's go show Professor some love, man. Let's go show Professor Sport Mode some love. Uh, we'll try and root him on to victory, see if he can get... Um, See if he can get this GG for us. Let's see how many attempts are on it so far. So far, 1,333 attempts already within an hour and a half of it being uploaded, guys. 1,333 attempts, no clear still. So that's where we're at right now. 1,333, no clears. Professor Sport Mode, guys. Tell him Redhead Raid in the chat. We'll be back tomorrow playing something. What? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to play something, though. We're going to play something. I got some levels I got to look at. I got some codes. We'll figure something out. Some some new uh, creator that I haven't played yet. But, yep. Much, much love, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Go show Professor some love. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Flying. No star in heaven I couldn't reach. Whee!